Why use Handbrake? Handbrake is an easy-to-use software that is available for Mac, Linux and Windows. Originally designed for ripping DVDs, it is the most popular tool for creating H.264 video from any video file or DVD disc. In this video, you will find a step-by-step -step guide for using Handbrake to compress your video. If you're in a hurry, you can also use the custom Handbrake presets we have uploaded to quickly apply these settings without having to enter them yourself. Make H.264 with Handbrake, step-by-step. -step. This tutorial assumes you have an HD video file that is 1920 into 1080 pixels. We will make the frame size a bit smaller, as well as drastically reduce the file size. Before I get into this video, kindly subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell icon, so that you can get all the latest videos and updates instantly. Let's go ahead and find out. Install Handbrake by choosing the version for your operating system from the link given in the description below. Or, you can download it simply by entering Handbrake in your browser's search bar. Click on the first link. and download it. Download completed. Let's open it, and install the program. Open Handbrake from your Applications or Programs folder. Load your video file. A file browser window should have automatically opened for you to select your source video file. If not, click the Open Source button and then click File. Now, select the file you want to compress and click Open. Select where you want the transcoded video file to be saved, by clicking Browse. In Save As, give the file an appropriate name, so you know, which version is the one you have compressed. Choose where you want to save it, and click Save. Choose Format MP4 file. Click the Video tab. For Video Encoder choose H264. 
X264. In frame rate, choose same as source. You can also change the frame rate of your video source if you need to. Choose 25 for PAL and 29.97 for NTSC. Make sure you tick the constant frame rate button to ensure better compatibility. Choose the high profile under encoder options. Enter an average bit rate for the video between 5000 to 10000, choose 5000, unless you want a much higher quality video that will take longer to upload and download. If you have time to wait, while handbrake compresses the video, choose two pass encoding for better results. You may tick turbo first pass to slightly speed up this process. Otherwise, leave this unticked. Now, click on the dimensions button, which opens a new dialog box where we can change the video frame size or resolution. Change anamorphic to none. This feature is more suited to DVD ripping. Change modulus to 16. Use the stepper, click the arrow down, on width to change width from 1920 which is Full HD, down to 1280. Tick, keep aspect ratio. Your heights should automatically then read as 720. If you have keep aspect ratio ticked, then select the audio tab and select AAC codec. Choose the 48Hz sample rate. Now, choose stereo for mix down and choose 320 for your audio bit rate. Finally, hit the start button and wait until video has finished encoding. I am fast forwarding the video as my video file is a bit lengthy. You can choose to queue multiple files by clicking add to queue and can start stop the queue by clicking show queue. This is helpful if you have many files to compress. Depending on your when done settings and preferences, handbrake can notify or alert you when it's done. Open your video file in VLC or another video player. and check it looks good. Check periods of intense motion more carefully to make sure you don't have too many compression artifacts. If the file doesn't look good enough, try doing it again with a higher bit rate. If it looks good, then you are ready to upload the video file. If you like the settings you are using, you can save them as a preset by clicking the plus sign in the bottom right of the presets drawer. Give it a preset name and description. That's it for today. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, 
subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in next episode of Get Smart. Peace.